now we're going to go over one of the two stretches, one of the two more basic stretches that we give patients to do at home. Um, uh, the first one being hamstring stretch, which is the muscle that runs down the back of your thigh, from your butt down to behind your knee. Um, we tend to give patients or instruct patients to use like a long strap, um, a rope, or they, they can even purchase a strap from us. Um, and they can wrap it around the bottom of their foot, okay, hold the strap in both hands, and start to pull the strap up while keeping the knee in a straight position, okay. <clears throat> As they come up, they're going to start to feel some tension build up back here on the hamstring, okay. Once they get to a point where they feel, you know, a, a strong but comfortable stretch, there shouldn't be any pain involved, okay, there should be no pain behind the knee or in front of the knee. Um, once they get to that point, they're going to hold it for 20 seconds, and then they'll slowly lower it down in the starting position, rest for a few seconds, and then repeat that about five or six times. The second stretch that we're going to uh, instruct today is to stretch out the quad, which again is that front of the thigh that goes from your hip to your knee. Okay, you're going to use that strap again, or a rope, or a belt, whatever the patient has at home. Wrap it around the front of the ankle, okay? <clears throat> Make sure you get it below the foot, okay? You're going to have the patient bring the strap over their shoulder, okay? Kind of use that as a lever. And they're going to bring their, try to bring their heel towards their butt. Uh, they're not going to get, obviously, the heel right at the butt, but as they start to bend the knee more, they'll start to feel a pulling in the front of the thigh, okay? Once again, once it becomes a strong and comfortable stretch, they'll hold it in that position for 20 seconds. And then they can release off of it. They don't necessarily have to release all the way down, just enough so that the muscle is no longer on stretch. They can kind of hang out there and then bring it up again. And just like the hamstring stretch, we repeat that around five times and you can do both legs.